So listen, have you ever heard of buy the dips in regards to trading? And if not, what they mean is when a currency pair, let's just say is trending up and then it pulls back, right? It falls, it pulls back. If it's in an uptrend, they're saying buy those pullbacks, buy the dips. And every time it makes a higher high and pulls back, keep buying the dip. But here's the thing, I see so many traders buying the dips at the wrong times, putting themselves into major drawdown in their trading accounts. And, it's, and to me, it's very unnecessary. But you already know, I'ma lace you all the way up. And I'ma show you how I time the setup, how I create and formulate the setup, and how I time my entries, take profit, stop loss, everything. Let's go. You got any more of those pips, Jay Wayne? We trying to get paid. It is Take Profit Tuesday. So we was monitoring GBP USD. Well, when price was making this bullish run, right? We was monitoring this for since December 2022 all the way through January 2023. All right. Now this, uh, I mean, you can, you can kind of see once your eyes is trained. Yeah. You can see this big, uh, uptrend, but what you should be seeing is this right here. So now we start looking like, okay, maybe this is going to be an inverse head and shoulders. So then we just need to wait for this pullback to happen. We can time and we can get the sale part from the trend line break take it on down and then we can also take the buy on up and then we can just keep tracking it and taking profit entering trades as we see the opportunities so you can see here um i document everything by the way you can see this gbp usd 100 pip move made about six grand i talked about the fundamentals of that all right remember i'm getting into the fundamental side of things i've been mastering the technicals for seven years now i want to master technicals for the next seven years it probably ain't gonna take that long, you feel me? But I'm a master. And I talked about that that GU drop that happened. And of course, I'm gonna send it to the team. I want everybody to eat. We can all eat, you feel me? Ain't no, we don't have to be stingy and selfish in this industry. All right, so there's the right shoulder move. All you do is just cut the head off. We took advantage of that and we caught the trade to the upside. To me, that's pretty simple, that's pretty easy. I've been doing this for a while now, you know what I mean? So we catch um the buy from here now this is not the video but i'm just i'm walking you through the process stay with me you feel me um because so many is rushing to get to um you know entries and all of this stuff and how you get it just tell me how but you're rushing but you're missing how i got there and that's the most important part so just chill for a minute you know lock in with me for a minute so um, so here you go. So now we took a buy up up to here, right? And we're gonna take a buy. Now, as far as the buy, um, if, if we don't know really how high it's gonna go, but if it get up here, you better be thinking take profit. That's all I got to say about that. And it did, it did go up there because that is a supply zone and price wants to go back up there and get, get the orders that were never filled in the past. So price gets up there, right? And when price gets up there, you got to think double top. Like, well, not right away because this is the uptrend, but you got to think a pullback is coming. You don't know the double top is there until afterwards. And people react to the double top once they see it. So you don't want to jump the gun and say, hey, that's going to be a double top. You don't know that. It could just go right through it, blow up and go higher. But a lot of people want to trade the neckline of the double top. You know, teach is on with that. But once price gets to the top up here, as you can see, you better be thinking take profit and then kind of reevaluate what's going to happen next. You feel me? And that's what we did. So now price made this double top. And I'm thinking if price break through this 50 by the dip. That's when I'm starting to think about buy the dip because we got a double top. It's in the uptrend. We made an inverse head and shoulders. You see how all of this come together? I'm thinking about and tracking all of this, right? We, we got a double top, but previously we got an inverse head and shoulder. 
double top, price break through the 50, buy the dip at the right time. I'm already thinking if it breaks the 50. So fast forward it, price breaks the 50. All right, we taking this sale by the way. Don't forget, we taking this sale. Now, keep in mind, we're catching the buys and the sales the whole time while I'm you know, monitoring on the weekly and the daily chart, this swing trade that we're preparing for, buying the dip. I'm, we're, we're catching everything in between. You gotta be able to do that. If you wanna be a master trader, if you wanna be an excellent trader, you gotta be able to monitor and, and uh, keep organization. So the next phase is this. So now price is dropping, right? You wanna buy the dip, but you have to find the demand zone because price is dropping the demand zone is gonna be at the bottom. So you have to quickly, and you ain't got to quickly because this is a daily chart. You got time. But if you on a lower time frame, you got to be quick with it. But you got time on the daily. We trying to go look left and try to find those demand zones. All right. And if you on like a one hour chart or lower, you're going to have to you know look for pockets of demand zones and supply zones. But in this case, we're on the daily. We can just look for dominant uh, demand zones where price is going to probably stop at and start you know pivoting back up. So that was the next step. So team, if you look left, where would you say the, the demand zone is according to where price is? See, we can look on this chart and find all type of you know demand zones, but you're gonna wait all the way down here and price is sitting right here and you're gonna wait for price to come all the way down there. Let me move this out the way. You're gonna wait for price to come all the way down here to think about a demand zone? No, 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 no. There's levels of demand zones all the way through. So that's one that I circled. All right. Um, here's another one. Okay. But this is where price is at right now. So that's the one you got to start with first. I want to start with this one because that's just, that's the where price is uh, closest to. And if it breaks through that, then let's look at the next one. All right, so let me walk you through this now. You want to mark it up from the wick to the body. And now you want to start analyzing it from the left going to the right all the way through, seeing if that's a good supply zone. You want to see if that's a good structure key level, right? So let's go through it. Obviously, the first point is perfect. I like this type of action right here. I like all of that action. That action was pretty good right there. Look at this. Price broke through and came back and retest and dropped off of that same level, right? That's a beautiful thing. Look at this. Look at price try to break through here and it wicked out. You following me? It wicked out right there. So then, look at this. It took a bullish candle to break through that area. That's what you want to see. So this level is already, this, this supply zone is already validating itself. You feel me? And then you got this action right here. So you know somewhere around here, we're going to get a reaction. We don't know 100%, but we pretty much 90, 85, 90, let's go 80, 90%. We know you're going to get some type of reaction there. Now we have the skill set to, to determine if it's when it's time to pull the trigger. But this is just the first step once to, of, of buying the dip. This is the first step. Before we go deeper into this buying the dips training, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 200,000 subscribers because once we get to 200,000 subscribers, I'm doing a free mentorship for like one or two weeks for all 200,000 subscribers. We going in. I'm talking about... I feel like that's a really, really good giveaway. Like, uh, I'm talking about live classes, classes where you could talk to me and interact with me. I'm talking about live trading where you get my trades. I'm talking about one or two weeks. We'll see how it goes. You know what I mean? But definitely one week guaranteed. And depending on how they go, may get it two weeks in. That's that's two free weeks where you can get so much information and 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 so much knowledge and make some money, you feel me, in the process. So, hey, consider subscribing to the channel if you find this content valuable, and you already know, I'ma lace you all the way up. 
let's dive back in. So some of the things that I like to see that will help me gauge when it's time to um, really take this serious as a swing trade, buying a dip type of situation, I want to see a rejection candle. You know what I mean? I want to see a candle that reverses. For an example, I want to see something, you know, I want to see a wick like that. You know what I mean? I want to see some wicks like this. I want to see a, a, a morning star. You know what I mean? I want to see something like that. I want to see some type of doji candle pop up at this key level, not in the middle of some random spot. We're just waiting to see this on the daily. I constantly keep going back to the daily time frame because I don't want to miss it worrying about these little scalp trades. I don't want to miss it. And then look what happens. This doji candle pops up. And now I'm thinking it's time to it's time to call out this swing trade. It's time it's time to really focus up now. And any time and any sales that we were taking on a on a 30 minute, 15 minute chart, it's time is cut out for that because we're at a spot where price is probably gonna turn around now. All right. And I'm like, I'm at this point, I'm plotting my stop loss, take profit, everything is laid out. And it's the daily chart. You got time. And look how it just pops up beautifully at this demand zone. You can't tell me technicals is not a big part of trading. Technicals is is really good in, in trading. And if you can combine fundamentals with it, it's even better. But you can make money as a beginner just trading technicals. You can become a monster trader if you combine the two, technicals and fundamentals. So don't let nobody stop you or, or discourage you from learning the technical side of things because eventually you're gonna master that and go on to fundamentals and you become a well-rounded trader, you feel me? So here we go. Now at this point, I'm monitoring this, right? At this point, I'm doing one, uh, my risk to reward is 1.5, all right? That's my risk to reward. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is my, this is how I do it. My stop loss will be below the low and I'm gonna do a 1.5. There you go. So that's my swing trade and that's TP1. And that's all you may get is TP1 depending on how the market is moving. But here's the thing. It's still not time to pull the trigger yet. Are you seeing how much patience it takes to do this stuff? Comment below. Let me know. How is your patience going? Comment below. Is your patience elite or are you still struggling with it and you, you miss time and you miss judging? You're, you're rushing. All right. Because it's still not time yet. We got to go to the one hour chart and find our entries. We don't find them from the daily chart. So price shot lower. Right. Price shot lower. It's still not time yet. We still have to be patient. Price shot higher. It's still not time yet. Even though it's a daily swing trade, even though it's still not time yet because that is an impulse move. We have to wait for what? You right. It's a pullback. So here's the pullback. Well, guess what? You could take the entry there, but you know, that, that, bearish engulfing candle can't canceled out the bullish one next to it so for me and my style of trading i'm waiting i'm patient on that i'm gonna wait because i got a 50 moving average right there on the hour chart i want price to go above it so let me show you how we tackled this right there i'm thinking send out this trade setup because you got to keep in mind all of this is happening at the demand zone, you see these blue lines on the chart. It's, ha it's all of this is happening at the demand zone. So I'm thinking, you know what? This might be time to send out this trade setup. I send out the, the trade setups. I don't play. I want y'all to eat. I want y'all to get paid. I'm going to get paid. I want y'all to get paid. All right. So I sent out this trade setup out to the team. This is what it looks like. So I sent out the trade setups in the community, on the, my YouTube community uh, membership side on the 7th, GBPUSD. Click that link and it opens up the trade setup. And here it is. On the 7th, I'm giving you the entry point, I'm giving you the stop loss, and I'm giving you the take profit. All right? And actually, my bad, my, 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 uh, 
my stop loss was a little higher because we we found it at a perfect spot so the risk to reward was just it was great it was great and all my swing trades is going to be um one to uh 0.5 all right 1.5 is going to be my uh, risk to reward one to one and a half so this is where i took my entry at all right and i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen for you guys could see it but this is where i took my entry and from here it was it was just big pippage from here on out from here on out it was it was a beautiful thing never got into no crazy drawdown now some of the people was asking me can we move up the stop loss because i think we held this trade for two days two to three days so the stop loss was down here we just moved it up because we locking in profits along the way we doing it the right way we doing it the right way and then price made another another pivot and then some of us took profit at this point and some of them move up the, up the stop loss and profit again now you can move it here or you can move it like right here that's up to you but hey price took off man price took off and then you got the pullback i took profit once i reached my goal because i'm i want to be the most consistent trader you would ever find in this on this planet Will I probably be? Probably not. But because my, my goals are so high, my expectations are so high, I'm going to be one of the best for sure. It's different. Now, I know some of you guys don't like scalping. You know, I heard somebody say it's like a drug. Well, you got to learn and let me teach you how to, how to swing trade. If you can't handle scalping and discipline yourself, then you got to master what I just showed you in this video. And then some of you guys are not interested in the swing trades and you want to compound your account. Because, well, look, click on that video that you see right here in the corner. Um, it's going to help you catch those momentum trades. Guarantee you. All right. So, hey, don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. And let's make this money, baby.